Serious. How are you? Good, yeah. I'm good. I'm good. So I just wanted to chat a little bit about your um, pre-qualification. Um, before I forget, can you email me that letter? Because I want to call your lender and just get some details. y'all welcome back to another month of real estate today is august 9th i'm getting started a little late in the month i just really hadn't felt like vlogging y'all <laughs> i just didn't feel it but it's monday august 9th today's my mother's birthday but we're not here to talk about that we are talking real estate so i just got off the phone with one of my clients who just got pre-qualified um for a little bit less money than we were hoping she would get pre-qualified for. She was pre-qualified for $200,000. Um, tough price point, but we are going to push through and see what we can find her. So I just got off a call with her to really just talk things over, express to her what that price point is going to afford her um, and how we will move forward and just how we will negotiate when it comes to finding a home. So then I called her lender because she went with a lender. Um, she went with a different lender that she found. And um, I just wanted to talk to him and see how far, you know, he was in the process of, you know, getting her pre-qualified. And, you know, was there anything that we could do as far as maybe raising her purchase price? Because what she was really wanting to purchase was about $280. Um, and as we talked things over... Um, we don't really have a lot of wiggle room with that. So she did say that she may be able to receive a gift um, from family as far as um, putting that towards funds and things like that. So we'll see what we can do to work with that. Um, so yeah, that's it that I have going on today. I'm just really going to be stuck behind the computer. Monday is always just like my admin day. Uh, I just got off the phone also with Alexis. We are um, closing in on their closing date. They'll be closing um, next week, Friday. Um, so we're about to start doing inspections this week on their home. Um, I always just send my list of inspectors and let the clients call and pick who they want. And she was like, I don't know who to choose. So we, I just kind of talked it over with her, told her my feelings on the three inspectors and let her make that decision um and yeah so right now i am restructuring the search for homes for Brittany to see what is out there and available y'all so that is that um yeah that's all check in later all right y'all i came to simone's house to drop off her personalized doormat that I made her. She's not home, but it's gonna leave it here as a little surprise for her. This was supposed to be in her basket, but of course, it was Hello, late. Hello, y'all. It is August 11th. I am out here looking at some rental properties for a client that needs to be in town in like three days. <laughs> Trying to find her somewhere to live. So let's check this one out. We have about three. Right now I'm in Katy, Texas, which is kind of far from where she'll actually be working. She's gonna be working in Humble, but um, she wants a four bedroom. And when I was searching the MLS this morning, four bedroom rentals are just not in abundance at all. Like less than 50 within the whole Houston area were listed this morning. When I looked at three bedrooms, it was like 300 plus. So, and, I've said this before, rentals, just like purchasing, is it's all a competitive market. So let's go inside and see. This is actually a really cute rental, y'all. Um, I love the open kitchen. 
It has nice granite countertops. I like that it's dark, stainless steel appliances, a large utility closet. That's a linen closet. This is the primary bedroom. It's a little on the smaller side for me and there's only one sink in here. No tub, walk-in shower with the seat though, toilet and um, walk-in closet. So I'm not gonna go back upstairs because my legs hurt. <laughs> but there's three bedrooms upstairs. Two of them are really good sizes. It's a nice house. They're asking $2,100 a month for this. So on to the All next. right, y'all. I've made it back to Alexis and Jeremy's house. The second one right here. Anthony is in there inspecting. So we're gonna go in and All see right, what he so has to say. Remember, a few weeks ago we came and talked with the builder about the um, primary bedroom closet and how they wanted it laid out. And I want to show y'all what the finished product looks like. It's pretty much finished. So, remember before there was racks coming this way, so they moved that. They did the shelving here. They added another bar down here. We decided to leave this here. They decided to leave this here. And they're gonna shelve that out and use it for whatever um so yeah and then they added a extra so it's looking good the home is pretty much finished this isn't even the final walkthrough and i'm not really seeing anything that looks like it still needs to be completed <clears throat> so by the time we get to closing next week, Friday, which is eight days from now, we shouldn't have no issues. Hopefully we won't be like to the wire. Heck, I feel like we could be closing tomorrow. <laughs> but it looks Top of the morning, good people. Today is August 20th. I just got back from a week of vacation in Jamaica. And I am hitting the road, running today, start of the morning. Um, heading to final walkthrough for Alexis and Jay. Um, and then of course their closing is immediately after that. Um, what else is going on? Travis is having his pre-drywall inspection done today. I'm probably not gonna be able to make it there for that. Um, simply just because like I'm gonna be on the other side of town today because after I do closing with Alexis and Jay then I have um, to show Brittany um, three homes today she sent me three homes last night that she wanted to see so we're gonna go um, check those out two discovery calls later today with two potential buyers to assess their real estate needs and see if we'll be able to work together um, so it's a busy day back from vacation, but nonetheless, I am grateful for it all. So let's go. This is your amortization schedule. So this shows the breakdown of each and every payment as you're making it. If you're making it on time, not spending anything extra, probably the last one. Hey, look how cute this is. My friend and my buyer's friend, we got a friend. We went to college together. So one of our friends, she does, um, balloon decor and all those things and she came last night and put that up for them and i'm absolutely love it uh, we had the best experience with alexia looking for our home she was informative kind just communicative the whole way through and i appreciate oh my gosh everything she did for us and for my family she made sure we were taken care of i had questions in the middle of the night and she answered them, okay? <laughs> um, she always takes back, always calls, and I just, I'm so blessed that we got to um, do this experience with her buying our first home um, because she helped us out completely and I'm just so excited and so grateful. So y'all gotta get up Alexia to help you find a house because your girl knows what she be doing, okay? Thank you, love. <laughs> <laughs> Closing is complete. Now we are gonna go get something to eat. I have about 10 minutes to spare. And then I am meeting Brittany at the first house. I said we had three houses to show, but there's only gonna be two because one of them don't wanna do any showings until they have an executed contract. And who's gonna do that? 
<laughs> Sounds like an investor needs to buy that home. All right, y'all, let's go. All right, this is house number one. Um, it's a townhome. It's actually really cute on the inside. I liked the layout a lot. Um, she rated it a seven because the backyard is really small and she doesn't really like the fact that it's a townhome. She would rather not be sharing a roof line and having like full yard access. So, and her, hun <laughs> and her son said he would give it a one. <laughs> so he's six and he's cute. <laughs> what about the backyard? It's really big. <laughs> this is too big so it went from too small to too big okay <laughs> good morning good people it's saturday and on saturday we show houses um uh duh, 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 duh. who is behind me tanya <laughs> we're looking for a lease house for tanya she's finally here in houston she's currently staying in an airbnb right now um so we're out touring a few properties for her um i submitted an offer last night for Brittany on one of the homes that we looked at yesterday the first house the townhouse um you know, I'm still submitting really aggressive offers first go around. And honey, the listing agent just called me. He said, you know, initially we didn't plan on doing any um, counter offers and negotiations. We were just going to go with the best offer. But um, I see your offer. You know, it's a really great offer. Very well written. Timelines are great, et cetera, et cetera. Um, but basically they're countering and asking if we can go up three thousand dollars on our offer price we offered them two hundred thousand is what they're asking for they have other offers that are um above that but the um the terms in the offer just are not as strong as my terms because <laughs> your girl knows what she's doing so with that being said i'm going to call britney's lender um after I'm done sh doing these showings or maybe yeah, I'll be in the house in five minutes so I'm gonna give him a call after we're done doing these showings and just see if the 203 is a possibility um, or if she'll be able to bring that cash to the table because she is only approved for 200 max so and when I spoke with him the first time you know he was like that that's her top top um, I do also have to say that this wasn't Brittany's like gung-ho favorite house. Um, we liked it. Remember, um, I don't know if I recorded it, but she, she gave it a 7 out of a 10. Um, and simply just because it was a townhome. I do remember saying this to y'all and it didn't really have a lot of backyard. But the house itself um, was really nice. So um, that's where we're at with it today. Um, it's nice to have your offer selected they've he didn't say how many offers they've received um but multiple is multiple so i would probably assume maybe a good handful um and he's giving me the time to up our offer before they select another one this evening so uh, i will get back to y'all with the information that i get from Brittany's lender to see if that's a possibility but Brittany also wanted to go out tomorrow Sunday to look at a couple of more houses that um, she's seen so I don't know I'm gonna touch bases with her and see what she said happy Sunday good people happy Sunday it's August 22nd Currently, I'm headed out to meet Tanya, um, my lease client, to look at some more lease applicant, um, some more rental homes. Um, as I've been saying, the rental market is just the same <laughs> as being a buyer, overpopulated, multiple applications, competitive. Um, the buyer's market is still really competitive, but it has slowed down a bit, and there's a, there's a bit more inventory on the market. Um, when Tanya reached out to me originally, she was wanting to purchase. So after we go look at these, and now that she's actually here in Houston, has her job um, offer letter and things like that, I'm going to see if she might want to move forward with the purchase process because it may take us the same amount of time to find a rental home as it will to find a house and get her under contract if we could possibly find one. 
So I'm gonna discuss that with her and see what she thinks about that 21 miles. Good God. Um, so that's that. And then after I meet her, I'm showing her three properties. And then I'm, so yeah, so after I leave Tanya, got my hair, I'm gonna meet up with Brittany. And um, we're looking at two homes today. She sent me three, one between yesterday, or really she sent those to me Friday, I think. So between Friday and today, today's Sunday, one of the homes has um, accepted a contract. So we only have two houses to look at. Um, as far as the offer that um, I almost got accepted yesterday, the one they counter offered for the $3,000 more, um, she decided that she did not want to, her and her husband, she's married, decided that they didn't want to move forward with that home. I haven't found out exactly why, um, so I'm gonna ask today. Um, and that just helps me moving forward to figure out what it is that you're really looking for so we don't go back to homes that, you know, have similar situations or whatever the case may be was why she didn't want it. Whether it's the backyard was really just too small or the townhome styles are just really not an option that I know that we don't need to look at things like that anymore. Don't need to waste time looking at things that you know you don't really like. So I'm gonna find out why she said no to that one. And then she also asked me, um, about an improvement loan um, I don't know if that's the official name for it I think there's another name for it um, but basically it's a loan that allows you to buy the home and it also gives you money towards fixing up the home so um, she asked me if you know that would be an option for her and you know, I said quite possibly it could be if you're willing to do the work you know you just have to talk to a lender about it and um, get approved for that because that's just a totally different type of loan you know, so like you have conventional loans, FHA, VA, improvement loan, all, you know, just all kind of different loans, new construction loans, just different loans. So this would be a different loan. So she would have to reapply for that to see um, how that would turn out. Um, anyway, so yeah, we're going to go look at these houses, show these five houses on this wonderful Sunday. It's three o'clock. I just had brunch with my lovely family. So now I'm going to go put in a little bit of work. Let's go, y'all. All right, all done. No luck with either of the two houses um, Brittany and I went to go look at. Um, I did ask about why they said no to the house yesterday. She said her husband just didn't, didn't like it as much as she did, so that's a fair answer. So yeah, we're still looking. Um, for Tanya, we're gonna send in three lease applications. I suggested that she um, offers to pay a couple months up front and see if you know that will interest the landlords because it's competitive y'all it's competitive um and then also i'm gonna get her connected with um a lender tomorrow to see if we can get her pre-qualified pretty quickly if we can then maybe we'll just start the home buying process so i am headed home now to get those lease applications submitted and go to bed so i'm tired Good day, good people. It is August 23rd. We just got a um, a, uh, a lease agreement for Tanya on a house that we were supposed to see yesterday, but we ended up not seeing it, but we went ahead and put in the application anyway. Uh, and finally, we got that accepted. So we are still gonna go see the house a little later today. But before that, I am gonna head to the other side of the world. <laughs> <laughs> the other side of Houston to meet up with Brittany to go look at another house that she has seen. I really have to get a showing coordinator, y'all. Like a showing agent. Because this, this, if you're not in Houston, you really don't understand. But just imagine driving. I live in Northwest Houston, spring. And now I'm driving 40 miles away which is in traffic, almost an hour drive to still to Houston. That's another side of Houston. So I'm just like, I really feel like I need somebody, a showing agent that kind of lives on that side of town that can do that for me. Cause I gotta go over there and then come back over here. Cause the house that Latanya is renting is over here. So it's, it makes for a lot of driving all the time, but hey, 
you pick your career, right? I chose this career. Anyway, so that's that. The house that I'm showing Brittany, um, it's been on the market for a while. Um, when I was reading up on it, the agent had, there's a part when we look at houses, there's a part with agent remarks that clearly you have to be a real estate agent to see. It does say that um, they had a contract and they basically got pretty far into the contract and it just kind of busted. So, I don't know, because it's above, it's above her price point. So, she's wanting to see it and see if we could possibly bit a little bit lower since it's been on the market for a while so we're gonna we're gonna test test that theory out and see how it goes that's if she likes the house of course um and then um i, I got good day good people i'm checking in late i've been working on these streets pretty much all day and i just forgot to tell y'all so this afternoon noonish i met up with travis went to the builder and um he told us everything that they were going to do to correct and fix what they could as far as the inspection report phase two inspection report pre dry wild report um and everything was pretty much standard there were some things that were you know a bit excessive on the inspector's part which is always right um but anyway some things on the report were a bit excessive and I, I explained that to Travis. I said, you know, the inspectors are always going to literally put every single thing on the report that they see. And it's not always something that's major. Anyway, so we got all of that handled. Um, then I went to go pick up a check from Latanya to drop off to the realtor here. So let me, I just actually arrived. Let me see where she is. I don't know why I'm such a horrible vlogger as of lately, but <laughs> I just left Jasmine Heights community. Today is August 26th, Thursday. Anyways, I just left um, Jasmine Heights, DR Horton community to go look at what they had in inventory um, for Antonio, um, a new buyer that I have. And um, they have 48 inventory homes, y'all. So just a few months ago, literally, this is the community that I went to with Brianna in May. And they were having waiting lists out the woohoo. Now they got 48 houses ready to be sold. <laughs> Hello, the market is changing. I've been, I've been saying it, it's been slowing down, but price points are still up there so we can definitely find houses now which just whoo honey child <laughs> thank you um but you know we're not gonna just and i don't want to say settle because the house is nice one story four bedroom two bath very open floor plan um they have great incentive right now seventy five hundred dollars towards closing costs and it will come with your appliances my, uh, i was about to say microwave lord refrigerator washer dryer um garage door opener and not just the clicker button like the actual automated system that you attach to the garage i think somebody got confused one time when i said that and i was like not just the clicker the actual part that automates the garage um and i think he said sprinkler system but it doesn't actually say that here on the paper um and then seventy five hundred dollars towards closing costs so that's a really good incentive like that's a good incentive um antonio did come to me already pre-qualified which is awesome his price point is three hundred thousand um the biggest one story four bedroom that they had is right at his price point 297. He's not necessarily set on one or two stories, but he wants to stick within his price point. And there are some that are um, actually a little bit less smaller in square footage. The biggest one was 18, 18, 1873, four bedroom, two store, uh, four bedroom, two bath, one story, asking 297, five, basically. So, I gave him all that information. He liked the house, but, um, you know, I wouldn't be doing my due diligence if I didn't really just get out here and look a little bit more to see what else may be available. Um, cause he's not necessarily just decided on this location that's in Katy, Texas. He's pretty much open to majority North of Houston, which is nice. Um, so I told him Monday I would definitely get back out 
and see what else is available in inventory. Him and his um, him and his family are supposed to be coming down within the next few weeks. He's in Tallahassee, Florida. Bye. I'm, 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 he's in Florida. <laughs> Him and his family are supposed to be coming down. They're located in Florida currently. Um, and so I'm hoping to kind of have communities narrowed down so when they do come in town, we can go take a look and hopefully get something under contract for them. So that's the plan, which I know how things go. Anyways, let me drive, bye. Good glorious Sunday morning. It is August 29th and I'm not really working today, but I'm headed to go look at a house that I like for myself. I'm not, I'm not buying. I won't really actually start looking for myself until like January um, but I just really really like this house it's an older house but just the structure of the house the windows and everything was just speaking to my soul so I decided to, you know they have an open house today let me just go take a look at it so I just wanted to bring y'all along so y'all could see and tell me what y'all think and that's really it <laughs> so we're about three minutes away from the house, so let's go. Y'all, absolutely wow. There's one, two, three, four, five, six cars here to see the open house. The open house starts at two and it's 159. So this is gonna be a quick sale, more than likely. Um, the house is in like the energy corridor area of Houston. Um, it's a nice area, a little bit of an older area, but still really nice. Um, it's three bedrooms, three baths, built in 1981 and 1983, or somewhere in the 80s, y'all. Um, and yeah, it looks like there's just a line of people waiting to get in to see the house. So that's actually awesome for the listing agent. Um, they're asking $275 for the home, so it's priced really well. Um, the house is not updated on the inside. Um, not really as far as just like design wise like one of the bathrooms had like old wallpaper and just you know there was tiling was kind of old but just the house at least the way the pictures make the house look clearly i'm here to see it too with everybody else behind me so <laughs> so here's the entry this is the old towel i'm talking about so let's go straight this is going to be the garage here's the living love this fireplace up to the ceiling high ceilings y'all nice windows to let in the natural light then you have like formal dining over there and then we have this extra flex space area i'll go back that way when some of those people get out of there um and then over here sorry here we have the kitchen Once again, y'all can clearly see what needs to be updated. I don't know how I feel about the kitchen not being open to the living space, but I'm still in love with all of these windows. And then we have some backyard deck action. So it's not covered, there's definitely space but you can still have a nice seating area out here like they have or table and then lots of backyard space for my babies. Let's go back inside. It's hot, Lord. Let's go over here to the primary bedroom. not a bad size I kind of want it to be a little bit bigger but the size is definitely doable you can comfortably fit king bed with furniture is this the closet this is a closet <laughs> there better be another <laughs> So you have your water closet, your toilet with some built-ins there, a walk-in shower here, double sinks, and then a lot more built-ins over here. I would want a tub, um, 
would have to see, you know, how much it would cost to be able to add a tub into here. Maybe get rid of all that cabinetry. I wouldn't really need that per se. And then closet. Hmm. It's a lot smaller than what I would like, <laughs> to be honest. So let's go back out. Oh, and then you also have entry to the backyard from your primary. So once again, backyard access. Okay. And let's go back over here and check out so this is just like flex space. So this could really be made into like an office or whatever. And then you have another full bath here. And yeah, so as y'all see, once again, still needs some, some updating. Washer and dryer. <laughs> And then just another bedroom. They use this as an office, but it's definitely a bedroom because there's closet doors here. Oh, this is uh, the bathroom. Um, closet door. Mm, okay. And let's see, we need to go up the stairs now. They have it listed as a one story but there's stairs, so it's really one and a half. So it's just a bedroom, oh, and a pool bath up here. So that's not bad. Standard closet and yeah, full bathroom. So what do y'all think? Just needs, a lot of updates like I would do a lot of updating but the layout of the house I really like love it and we can't forget the garage standard two-car garage got a little bit of a storage lip up there love 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 so I like it y'all the only thing it's missing really is just like another type of living space. So this is the house. This is the street. Cute. Cute. 